explain what it means because this is the basis for what we are going to offer to our uh, creator uh, whatever we brought to offer them you see here first we tra trace a line from east to west and uh, another one from uh, north to south and uh, this is marking our four directions and uh, here in the center, you see in each quarter, you see a little, uh, a little, um, uh, they were the ones who were sent by Creator to uh, teach the tradition. That's why we, they taught us their calendars and the, uh, the whole tradition. And that's why we cannot change anything because it's something sacred that came from the stars. We don't have the right to modify or to change anything. So this ceremony, we are using the... This is one of the offerings that they did. Everything comes from plants. in the opposite side if you see here the sun comes here and you see my shadow there dark so this is how the sun travels and then it goes into darkness so uh, we have problems with uh, with the Christians or Catholic Church because when they see a black candle they think it's something um, negative but it's only symbolizing the other side. You know, the, the night, the place where we go to rest when our life in this dimension is over. It's just a place of uh, like uh, incognita. We don't know, we don't see it. That's why we mark it in, uh, in uh, black. And then we have white for the north. That's where the air comes from, all the knowledge. And in the south, that's where our rains come from. So it's uh, in yellow. When the rain comes and nourishes our plants, you know, our, uh, our trees, our fruits turn yellow. And uh, so it's because of the rain, so we have them in the south. And then here in the center we have um, green for Mother Earth and blue for our hands. And now we are placing some um, sweet things. Like this is uh, this is from here. I bought it somewhere. We use it also in our ceremonies, and it's the raw sugar. Los los. Uh. Also use tobacco as medicine. We don't have the leaf, which would be the ideal. So we had to rely on uh, already worked tobacco made into these cigars. But tobacco is a very medicinal plant. It's a healer and it's used in most indigenous traditions around the world. Check, 
through two more. Center lock. This is in the scanner. Green and yellow. In the scanner. Mm -hmm. All candles. All are candles. First place, candles. Get flag on. And also uh, thanks to Mother Earth because it's Mother Earth who has given us all these uh, materials. <laughs> like a bamboo or a sugar cane that grows straight up and it goes, it symbolizes lineage. You know, you see the segments and, and it grows straight uh, and strong. It's also, this is a staff also that symbolizes authority and power, but spiritual power. And it's, uh, I think uh, there is a nice story that uh, Dr. Patak wants to share with us about this stuff. You know, I had an opportunity to go to Guatemala, and if you go to all the Latin American countries, they have huge temples which are built by the Mayans. And they were built almost 3,000 years back, even more than that. And I was working with Alejandro Oxola Cirilo Perez. He is the chairman of the Council of Sacred Maya, Zinka and Garifuna. So I was asking the Alejandro, Alejandro tell me how these people have built such a huge temples. So Alejandro said, uh, you won't believe it. So I said, Alejandro, please tell me. He said, no, 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 you are a professor. You, are, you have studied in the Western type of studies, so you will not believe this. So I said, no, but you won't believe that. Please tell me. He said that our Mayan elders used to have so much of a spiritual power that they could lift the stones with their eyes and take it on the top of the hill. And I said, I believe it. And he said, how come you are believing? You are a PhD from Western education. I said, I believe it because I also have a Hindu background. In India, <coughs> there was a story that Santat Naneshwara was visited by Santat Changdeva and Changdeva was coming, sitting on tiger from the air. And then he said, the wall on which Naneshwara was sitting, he told the wall that let's go and welcome it. So the wall was lifted up in the air. So I said, we believe it because we carry the same ancient tradition. He said. <laughs> In fact, he said the gra he's the grand elder. He's uh, speaking about the grand elder of the Maya National Council of Elders, and he sent greetings to you. He said greetings to my brothers and sisters because I assure them that we they have our full support, uh, and uh, we are brothers and sisters because we come our traditions come from the same source. Uh, now uh, we are going to start uh, calling the, our four directions, to greeting our four directions, and uh, we're going to say a few words greeting the direction. We're going to start with the east.
Cantemos con alegría, el cielo está cantando. A los abuelos del sur las gracias estamos dando, las gracias estamos dando. Cantemos con alegría, el cielo está cantando. Cantemos con alegría, el cielo está cantando. A los abuelos del sur las gracias estamos dando, las gracias estamos dando.
listen to us, look at us. We come to offer you this ceremony. This is a gift we bring to you to give you thanks, to ask you for strength, strength for our spirits. Give us that force to continue with our, uh, our journey, in our journey, a journey of unification. We want to be like the laws of the heavens, that we are one without distinction of races, with any religion, any traditions. We all are the same. We all have the same needs. We are here, Father. We give you thanks for every moment, for all the gifts that you have given us day by day. We call also the spirit of the mountains, the spirit of the waters, the spirit of the rivers, the oceans, come with us. And the spirit of all the martyrs, all those who died, who died fighting for us to have a better world, for all those who died fighting for our freedom, to die fighting for our rights, come here with us in this moment we remember you and we ask our father father creator to listen to us and to have each one of us comes with something in our hearts with something it can be a preoccupation of illness problems at home problems with uh, maybe some deaths there are so many problems that they are part of life but here we are going to bring them to the sacred fire the fire is the one who transforms. It's the one who never gets contaminated. We call the day of Ish. Ish is the day of the woman. It's the day of Mother Earth. The day of our great animals who live in the jungles. And this is today we pray for them. Ish. Uh, next day is Tsikin. Tsikin is symbolized by a bird. The bird is the one that carries in, her, in its feathers, it carries our prayers. It's the one that is closest to God, closest to the heavens flies high in the sky. We have concerns about that. Uh, it's the one that deals with, uh, <coughs> with the material, the money, the material resources. Uh, we call it the, the material goddess because we cannot do without it. Without money, we couldn't be here. Without money, we wouldn't have a place to live. Unfortunately, unfortunately that's the way it is in these days. So we ask, we don't ask for a bundle of money to come our way, but we can ask for help so that we can work. We ask and we pray for all those who are looking for a job, to find a job so they can have, uh, cover their needs with that money. Un chiquín, dos chiquín, tres chiquín, cuatro chiquín, cinco chiquín, seis chiquín, siete chiquín, ocho chiquín, nueve chiquín, diez chiquín, once chiquín, doce chiquín, trece chiquín. Chiquín. It's hard to forgive. You know, it's uh, uh, we make mistakes sometimes even without knowing. So we ask here, this is the day to come and ask for forgiveness. Sometimes we have forgotten our Creator. So we ask forgiveness here too. One of Mark, two of Mark, three of Mark, four of Mark, five of Mark, six of Mark, seven of Mark, eight of Mark, nine of Mark, ten of Mark, twelve of Mark, thirteen of Mark, fourteen of Mark. Ah. We have a day also that is uh, a day for uh, the wisdom that is no we is knowledge and wisdom we don't want only knowledge because with knowledge we can build wrong things also but if we give it some wisdom 
that is the complement, then we can use things right. Here we ask for good thoughts, for good ideas, for good projects. We also ask for our children who are going to school, uh, for them to learn things that then can be useful to humanity. No. Next day we call our Nawal Tihash and Tihash is represented by the obsidian stone. If this is the material that our ancestor used to perform invisible surgeries. It opens doors, it removes all negativity and, and frees our, uh, the path for us to walk uh, safely. Un tihash, dos tihash, tres tihash, cuatro tihash, cinco tihash, seis tihash, siete tihash, ocho tihash, nueve tihash, diez tihash, once tihash, doce tihash, trece tihash. Tihash.